Hello, I'm the Cyber Friend. It's the Midi Man coming back at you again from Walker's Music with yet another word for today. Uh, I won't like to say I apologize for not doing any music or uh, tutorials lately, but things have happened. And uh, like I said, we've been in a moment of mourning for a friend that passed away this week. And um, tomorrow we will have his funeral. And he will eulogize at New Salem uh, CME Church. And, Maybe we can uh, add a little closure on everything, but for now we want to come from the book of Revelation, 20th chapter. We're going to begin reading at the very 11th verse, 11th verse, and it reads as such. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell were delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. And we see here my friend, that John said he saw a great white throne, him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. God sitting on the throne, Jesus Christ, the white throne judgment, place of the judgment for the wicked, for no righteous will stand at that judgment. But this is a judgment for the wicked. It said that he saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And then he said the books were open, books. And the dead were judged out of those things that were written in the books. Now, John don't tell us what, uh, he doesn't tell us what kind of book. He said books. But I'm going to use my imagination. Since he said books, plural, I'm going to say the 66 books in the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, 39 in the Old Testament, 27 in the New. Those are the books that were opened. And the dead were judged out of what was written in these books according to their works. Now it's strange that he said, that the dead were judged out of the things that were written in the books according to what their works. Now, remember, <clears throat> the word tells us that the gift of God, Jesus is our gift, in other words, and the grace and mercy came through by Jesus Christ. Said an eternal life it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So we see here kind of clearly now that if you are trying to do it by works, no works shall save save the flesh. But it said these were judged according to their works. Now he said that was books, and then that was the book of life, which is the Lamb book of life and whosoever name was not found written in the lamb book of life were cast into what a lake burning with fire this is the second death well you see no one standing at the white throne judgment names gonna be written in the lamb book of life but it's there to give proof that, okay, look, we're judging you rightly. You cannot enter in. See, works will never save you. <clears throat> but only the work, <clears throat> the perfect work, 
that were done by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the only thing. So it's not of works. But he that is believing and is baptized, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Because we accept in the free gift of salvation, which was purchased by his own blood, that gives us a right to the tree of life. And our name is written in the book of life. Therefore, whosoever name was not found written in the book of life will cast into the lake of fire. Because my work, your work, will never get you there. But it's only what Jesus did that'll get you there. And then he said, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Death and hell, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Why is that we say? Because sin brought forth death. So therefore, when Jesus put an end of sin, that's going to put an end to death. Death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. And whosoever name was not found written in the Lamb book of life were cast into the lake of fire. That's the second death, people. Second death. We don't want to... Our names do not be written. And we need to do something about that. If we are not certain, and for certainly sure that we that our name is written in the book of life, now is the time to get it in there. And it's so simple. You all you have to do is just receive the free gift of eternal life that Jesus purchased with his own blood. His the power said, He that he believed and is baptized. He's a brother in my heart, desire for and prayer for Israel that they might be saved. He's a fire badly record that they have a well, zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Paul said, If thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's all you got to do. Confess, believe, ask Jesus in and take over your life. And start walking with him on a day-by-day -day basis. Letting him work the perfected work in you. Not our words, but his word. And we shall have eternal life. And our name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. My friend, this is Mitty Man. Saying that out of all the things that God does, we don't understand them all. Sometimes we understand only a few of them. But we must rest assured that God knows what he is doing. And all we have to do is trust and obey. Trust and obey him, and everything will be all right. This is the Mitty Man from Walker's Music saying that hopefully, if God be willing, we can get back into doing some of the music aspects of Walker's Music in the near future. And there will be tutorials following. And God bless each and every one of you. Have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day to all fathers. This is the Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.